Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing alright. So just continuing on here. Uh, so the disorder, so this information is all from the last link I shared with you guys. Uh, <clears throat> this disorder, fructose uh, malabsorption, causes improper absorption of uh, trip, uh, tryptophan, excuse me, um, in the intestine, uh, and re reduce reduced levels, excuse me, of tryptophan in the blood and depression. So in bacteria that synthesize in bacteria that synthesize tryptophan, excuse me, high cellular levels of the of this amino acid activate a repressor protein, which binds to the to the TRP operon. Binding of this uh, repressor to the tryptophan operon prevents transcription of downstream DNA that codes for the enzymes involved in the biosynthesis of tryptophan. So, high levels of tryptophan prevent tryptophan synthesis through a negative feedback loop, and when the cell's tryptophan levels go down again, the trans uh, krypton from the tri TRP operon resumes. Uh, this permits a tightly regulated and rapid respon responses and changes to the cell's internal and external tryptophan levels. Wow. Okay. Um, I almost want to read that one more time. So it's essentially saying there's a very delicate balance of tryptophan that your body needs in order to process it the right way. If you go too much, you're doing yourself detriment. If you do too little, you're doing yourself detriment too. So it's fight. It's important that you find that that good balance. And apparently, this is one of them um, aspects of the human body in this reality that that requires a very delicate balance. That could be. It's more than likely. It, different for everybody too so you got to figure that out for yourself and then once you figure out what your level is you need to stick to that to get you that good um uh that good amount of uh, tryptophan in your body and that's again it's an, it's an amino acid that we don't get naturally so it's something that a lot of people are probably deprived of um which could cause uh, a lot of the problems that we're seeing in today's society <clears throat> sorry let's move on here so tryptophan me metabolism by human gastrointestinal uh microbate uh tryptophan into the diagram tryptophan, what is all this not sure what I'll see. Okay, let's just keep it moving here. Um, so the image above contains clickable links to the diagram. So okay, so those are all links. If you guys want to look more into it, um, you can go to that link that I showed you in the previous video, and it should lead you to this type of stuff, which will then lead you to wherever you want to go to if you click on it. Um, da -da -da, dietary allowance. So in 2002, the U.S. Institute of Medicine set a recommendary dietary allowance (RDA) of five milligrams uh, body weight slash day of triplotine for adults 19 years and over. <coughs> oh, excuse me, what's going on three? All right, let's move on here. So dietary sources. Tryptophan is present in most protein-based foods of dietary proteins. It is particularly plentiful in chocolate, oats, dried dates, milk, yogurt, cottage cheese, red meat, eggs, fish, poultry, sesame, chickpeas, almonds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds, Buckwheats, uh, sper spirulina, sorry if I mispronounced that, and peanuts. Uh, contrary to popular belief that cooked turkey contains an abundance of tryptophan, the tryptophan content in turkey is typical of poultry. Wow, so there you go. It's actually, a, that's a bunch of BS. It's the same thing as, as regular chicken. So I didn't know all these other things had it too. So there's a possibility that I could be um, ingesting a little bit too much. So it's something that I might need to look into. I, I think my sleep thing has, I don't know, I mean, it might be. I feel like a lot of my sleep issues has to do with getting over um, creative and stuff like that. But um who knows um and again each body's different so that's nothing you gotta take into account also but <clears throat> good stuff to know about so all right here we go um so yeah this is more just uh wow this is cool they give you all the amounts for each of these different foods it's good stuff to know yeah it's in a lot of stuff wow um all right so medical use for depression uh because tryptine is converted into so yeah it's got some all right so i'll make another video on that all right i love you guys y'all take care bye